Hi, I'm James, the box office artist, and today we're going to be doing something just a little bit different because I've been marvelizing, or telling you my style, a lot of different things over the past couple of months. I've been drawing Pixar movies, I've been drawing video games, I've been drawing uh, TV shows, animated series, but one thing I thought would be fun is to take some of the most famous paintings in the world and then draw them in a marble style. What's that gonna look like? Today is gonna be a very interesting experiment. And in fact, if you like this and you know other famous paintings you would like me to try to draw in a marble style, let me know in the comments down below. Okay, let's start with this one, okay? Now, uh, this particular one, I'm sure you have seen, and it's been parodied a lot, and uh, maybe you don't know the name. The name of this painting is called the American Gothic, or no, the, just American Gothic. It's painted in 1930 by Grant Wood, a uh, collection in the Art Institute of Chicago, and I believe if you go there right now, you could find this painting there right now, one of the most famous paintings in the world. Grant Wood painted this painting in 1930, submitted it to the annual exp exhibition of the Art Institute of Chicago, where it won a bronze medal and a $300 prize. That's a lot of money for 1930. From there, a picture of the prize-winning painting ran in the Chicago Evening Post, then in newspapers across the U.S., gaining fame and popularity with each printing. This painting made Grant Wood famous. Grant Wood was an unknown 39-year-old aspiring artist living in the attic of a funeral home carriage house that he shared with his mother and his sister. Although he was tolling in obscurity, artistic training in Europe had taught Wood techniques that led to his big break. His fans became ravenous, sometimes traveling to his family's home and walking right into Wood's quarters uninvited. Sounds like being a famous YouTuber like me. <laughs> Who are you? Just joking, nobody's there. So most painters paint from live action models. Wood was seeking for a model for American Gothic, and he asked a favor from his dentist, okay? 62-year-old Brian McKeeby, that was his name. And the first choice for the female model was his mother, Hattie. However, he was concerned that she couldn't sit for that long, so instead, he had his sister, Nan, sit in. And again, this painting is one of the most parodied paintings in the world, as you've seen here, so why not let me do one as well. What does this look like in a Marvel style? First of all, how does this look Marvelous in style? You're gonna find out right now. Here it is in a Marvel style. What did you guys think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. This next painting is by Vincent Van Gogh. You might have seen many like this. There's very similar paintings to this, but this particular one is called Self Portrait with a Felt Hat by Vincent Van Gogh. He painted this in September and October of 1887. It's oil on cotton, 44.5 centimeters by 37.2 centimeters. Uh, I'm not sure how much that is in inches because I'm Canadian. Vincent van Gogh painted a lot of self-portraits, but I think we all know Vincent van Gogh from cutting off his own ear, okay? <laughs> there are many theories surrounding Vincent van Gogh cutting off his own ear. One of the theories is that Vincent van Gogh took a razor to his left ear and partially severed it after getting to a fight with a fellow artist, Paul Gauguin. Then he wrapped the severed ear in paper and delivered it to a woman. However, others theories suggested it was Gauguin who cut off his ear. So. I don't know. Either way, it's weird, to be honest. <laughs> now, like, Wood didn't become famous till he was 39. Van Gogh only started painting when he was 27, okay? And he was mostly self-taught. He tried many careers before becoming an artist. He tried being an art dealer, a school teacher, and he was only a painter for the last decade of his life. So he didn't live that long at all. But like a lot of these famous artists, Van Gogh's paintings did not become famous until after he passed away, so he never got to enjoy the fame from his work. So how did I go on and marvelize this piece? Well, you're gonna find out right now.
and there you go. That is the Marvelized version of this self-portrait with a felt hat piece. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. And what is possibly, arguably, the most famous painting in the world, I think everyone knows what this painting is, it is the Mona Lisa, painted by Leonardo da Vinci, probably the world's most famous painting, as I said, painted somewhere between 1503 and 1519, when Leonardo was living in Florence, and it now hangs in the Louvre Museum in Paris. Now, I have seen this in person. I actually went to the Louvre, I think about five years ago, and I saw this in person. The first thing that I noticed, this painting's small. <laughs> I expected this to be this big giant painting. It's very tiny, okay? Uh, the oil on wood painting measures just 30 inches by 21 inches, weighs 18 pounds, so very, very small. The model in this painting is not named Mona Lisa. This painting subject is commonly thought to be Lisa Gherardini, okay? Is that the same as the chocolates? I don't know. <laughs> Whose wealthy husband commissioned the work in Florence, Italy around 1503, okay? The name Mona Lisa roughly translates to My Lady Lisa, okay? Though there are some historians who actually think this might even be a self-portrait of Leonardo da Vinci. <laughs> so, I don't know. I wasn't there. This painting is essentially priceless, okay? So you guys can't buy it, all right? You can't buy it. In the 1960s, the painting went on a tour where it was given an insurance valuation of $100 million, which if we reassess it for inflation today, if you were to get insurance on this painting, it would be $2.5 billion, okay? But the policy was never taken out because the premiums were more than the cost of the best security. Right now at the Louvre, the Mona Lisa hangs and the work is encased in bulletproof glass to prevent threats and injury. So how did I take the world's most famous painting and turn it into a marble style? Well, you're going to find out right now. And there it is, the Mona Lisa in a Marvel style. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. This was a lot of fun, a little bit different. What did you guys think? If you enjoyed the series, you want me to do more, let me know in the comments down below. What is your favorite painting? Maybe there was a painting you learned, learned about in school. Or maybe there's an image of a painting that you've seen that's used everywhere. Maybe it's memed. Why don't you let me know in the comments down below. But I thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best. Make sure that you subscribe if you are new here. I love doing fun videos like this. Uh, four, five, six, seven times a week. <laughs> and I'm having so much fun interacting with each and every one of you. So hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up button, share this video with all your friends. And my name is James. I am the box office artist. I'm here to say keep drawing. I'll see you all.